Hi, you guys. Welcome. God bless you. God bless you. Come on in. This is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves. How y'all guys doing? I'm the founder of Rejoice Essential Magazines, also a Christian author. God bless you. God bless you. I just want to come on here and to encourage somebody today. Amen. I know a lot of people are going through. So I just want to, I don't know if I showed you the magazine this month or not, but you know, usually I come on once a month and I show you guys the magazine. Amen. So I have a quick word. I'm going to pray for some of you guys today. I'm going to prophesy. Amen. We're going to pray down heaven really, really, really quickly. I'm starting to feel fire, I'm starting to feel his anointing. Amen. So let me show you this magazine really so this is my website it's on my profile just go to kimberlyharvest.com i want to show you this magazine amen just go all the way down to magazine under resources and once you click that the magazine will open your challenge this week at work amen i pray for a blessing on your job in jesus name but once you click here amen just go to the magazine this is our new one we had apostle ryan lestrange on the cover amen it just opens up how you doing miss mary god bless you woman of god God bless you, God bless you. So just open it up, it's kind of slow, but I want to show you this magazine, and then we're going to get into the word of the Lord. All right, so, you know, this is Apostle Ryan Lestrange. He was on the magazine. He did an interview with us, so I just give God praise, and this is how the magazine looks in the inside. Yes, I'll give you a prayer. I, I'm going to pray for you guys. I just want to show you guys um, how it looks. Amen, inside, and it was awesome. Amen, so if you feel discouraged, if you... Uh, need a word amen you know check this magazine out it is free to you guys amen there's something in here for everyone we got recipes we got fashion you know amen i'm gonna pray for a bunch of you guys amen so just check this out amen i want to show you this just skim through it but we had awesome articles on um men and women of god in here so god is good yes you need two words amen so i'm just going to show you this begin to swipe and share amen I'm, I'm gonna pray for a bunch of you guys today i'm gonna go ahead and just you know serve and all right so that's the magazine so you just check that out amen all right do me a favor like our facebook page and subscribe to exude amen amen so listen you guys i have a prophetic word for you guys amen um i was reading my devotion um a couple of nights ago and this this came up you know my spirit God always wins. Amen. I said God always wins. See, you may right now, you may be in over your head with some finances, but I need you guys to, I love to have interaction. I love, I love to have people just, you know, give me feedback. Amen. That's the kind of teacher I am. All right. So I need everybody to put, thank you so much. I just did my broadcast for my show for Friday. I need you to put God always wins. Amen. So you may have some financial problems where you can't keep no money in your pocket. But I got a word for you. God always wins. Amen. You may be in lack right now. But you know that's not what God promised you. You know you may be in lack right now. But that's not your end destination. Alright. It's just a stepping stone. Alright. You know you may say God I need so much God. God I want to do so much for you. But guess what it is on the way. Amen. I want to prophesy and tell you guys that everything that you're saying. Oh God I, I, want, I want to do God for you. Everything God God is placed on your heart. Amen. Your God is winning. Amen. You're on the winning team. Amen. You are on the winning team and God always wins. Some of you are saying, God, I'm tired, God, uh, of struggling. Amen. God, I'm, I'm, I'm so in debt over my head. Every time I look around, I got, you know, uh, credit card statements, bills, hospital bills, attorney fees. There's always something. Well, God always wins. Let me tell you something. The enemy is trying to get you off track. The enemy is trying to get you discouraged, trying to make you look at your financial situation. But we know that the Lord, the word of the Lord says, guess what? He delights in the prosperity of his servants. Come on, somebody. Amen. We know that we need to be faithful in our giving and in, in our tithes because the word of the Lord says, hey, if we give, it shall be given back to us. Come on. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, show men, pour into our bosoms. My God, maybe I'm preaching to myself today. Amen. But I just told you that God always wins. Amen. So listen to me. Listen, God will not forsake those who seek him. You know, a lot of people, you've been seeking God. Get ready. I'm telling you, get ready. Because I'm going to prophesy and tell you that God is going to meet every deadline. 
Amen. That God is going to meet every deadline. See, I done had some deadlines in my life. Amen. You know, you're looking at somebody that was on probation for two years. You're looking at somebody that had thousands of dollars of attorney debt. I said, God, I don't know how I'm going to pay this off. But guess what? God did it. Amen. So, you know, God always wins. I don't care how horrible the situation may look in the natural. And some of you, and some of y'all are in some things that literally, you know, your head should be white, a full, full of gray, like a white head. Amen. Full of gray hairs. You know, that you should be in and out the midst of institution you know some of you sh should be afflicted in your body but guess what you're not afflicted because guess what god always wins amen god does meet those deadlines amen so let me let me just let, let me just give some more word amen see some of you are listening to me you got some problems on your job but i got well, i got a word for you that god always wins Amen. See, some of you, you're working with difficult co-workers. You know, it seemed like, my God, I'm, I'm showing the love of God. I'm doing what God has called me to do. Not once have I gotten out of character, but the enemy is working through my co-worker to try to get up at me. Let me tell you something. God always wins. I just got a testimony in my inbox for I got on here. It said, prophetess, I want to give you an update. I said, yes, woman of God. She said, I had this difficult co-worker. And, you know, she gave me a hard time. She did not like me. She even lied on me. But guess what? She, she had to put in her notice. She had to take a leave of absence. Come on now. Hallelujah. See, God will make your enemies your footstools. Exodus 14, 14 says, be still and the Lord will fight for you. I said, be still and the Lord will fight for you. See, God always wins. You don't got to get out of character. You don't got to, you know, act, act out in your flesh. Amen. Some of the things that you're going through, you got to literally fight on your knees, baby. Amen. You got to fight in the spirit. See, some of you, you hate the job that you're at. You you hate you hate it like God I hate this job God I'm not called to a nine to five God God I know I got an entrepreneurial spirit on my life and I know God I, I know you've been speaking to me God I know you've been giving me these ideas for creativity so I'm gonna step out God I'm gonna step out God and do the things that you are calling me to do Maybe I'm preaching to myself I'm preaching good too man I'm preaching to myself today Amen God always wins See. See, a lot of people, you're not comfortable there at your job because guess what? You know that God has more for you. I want you to stop complaining and look at the situation from the eyes of Jesus and say, okay, God, maybe you got me a light. You got me as a light in this dark place, in this, uh, you know, this uncomfortable situation. Maybe, God, you're trying to do something to me and, and work on my character. That's why I'm at this job that I don't like. Amen. So, so instead of me complaining, I'm going to give you praise, God. God, give me wisdom and show me, God, how to act accordingly on this job some of you you know you, you, your, your, your job is not enough for your for your um you know your needs amen it seems like every time you get paid you never have anything left over you're living paycheck to paycheck like god i'm tired of god of struggling to, like this god amen but god always wins amen let me tell you something we serve a supernatural god where hey god can come Amen. And, and, and supernaturally make up for what you don't have. Amen. So maybe you have a bill that's $800 and your paycheck was $500. Amen. Oh, well, God can step in because you are a woman of faith, because you're a man of faith. He can step in just like that. Amen. And, and give you an extra $1,000 in one day, wherever it took you months to make that. But God said, I can do it right now in one day. Amen. Jesus. Some of you, you're working a job and you're like, God, I, I, I need a promotion. God, you know, I'm more qualified. I got all these credentials. So maybe I'm purchasing myself. I've been here. Amen. I'm more qualified. I got all these credentials. But it seemed like they, 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 they treated me unfairly. And, you know, listen to me. God can literally, listen to me. A promotion doesn't come from men. Amen. It comes from God. So God can raise you up and put you in that supervisor spot and demote that supervisor that's giving you a hard time, that's making, uh, you know, your, your job uncomfortable for you. Amen. It's treating you unfairly. Amen. I've seen it so many times. Amen. But God always wins. I, I want somebody right now to keep the faith. I want somebody right now to watch your words. Amen. Instead of saying, I quit. I can't do this. God, this is so hard. I need you right now. This is okay, God. Ooh, I'm going to give you praise, God, through this thing. Jesus. Amen. Some people listen to me. You're, you're going through some things. And you're like, God, 
This ain't the place you have for me, God. Lord, I'm homeless, Lord. Lord, I, Lord I'm a one paycheck away from being homeless, God. God, I'm, I'm in this roach of, uh, a festive apartment, God. God, you know, I'm in this little house with my, with my big family. I need a bigger spot, God. I, I, need, I need favor, God, to close up on the house. I, I need favor, God. Lord, you promised me to have a big house, God. What, what's up? You know, God always was. Let me tell you something. God will give you favor. I want to prophesy. Amen. Jesus, see, I, I need some people to put put, it, put put this up here, amen, and 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 say God always wins. I see. I come today to boost your faith. I come today to work with your faith. I come today to to work a miracle in your life, amen. Let me tell you something. Healings are getting ready to break out. Amen. Uh, the prophetic is getting ready to flow up out of my mouth. I don't have no idea what I'm going to say to a few of you guys on here. So, you know, if that is you, I need you to say, God always wins. Amen. I want you to put a demand on the anointing and follow these prophetic instructions to say, God always wins. That, hey, you know, they said I was a reject. They said I wasn't going to never make it. They said I wasn't never going to amount to nothing. People laughed at me when I gave them their ideas. People didn't understand the vision, God, that you had given me. But God always wins because I know if God is for me, who can be against me? Amen. And I know God is getting ready to put such an anointing on the... Um, my projects on the work of my hands I know God is going to favor me, amen I know God is going to, guess what Make our name great, amen Come on somebody, amen, hallelujah See some of you guys right now You having problems in your relationship But God always wins You don't get anything I, I, I'm going to say it a thousand times today Y'all might get tired of me saying this, amen You know, some of you like, God I, I'm lonely, God. Uh, God, I'm tired of being single, God. God, I'm seeing everybody around me getting married. And God, what's up, God? I'm seeing everybody around me happy. But God, I want to be happy, God. God, I'm tired of being miserable. Let me tell you something, boo. Your time is coming, amen? This ain't the time to be envy. This ain't the time to be jealous of somebody. Amen? You need to learn to celebrate somebody else when God is blessing them, amen? Because guess what? Have you ever thought that God is testing the true motives in your heart? He's testing the true motives in your heart. He's you say, hmm, man, can I trust Amber with that? Can I trust, you know, such and such, such, such with that? No, I don't think I can give it to them yet because guess what? I just blessed their sister in Christ and they jealous of them. My God, some people just need to repent right now. Amen. Repent. Say, God, I'm sorry. Amen. Learn how to celebrate somebody. Amen. Let me tell you something. Woo, Jesus. I, 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 I start praising God like a mad woman. I start praising God like it was my blessing. Amen. Jesus. I don't want to know. I don't have time for envy in my heart. I don't have time for things. Amen. You know, so listen, you, you, sh listen, you should be so in love with God, so focused on God. You don't have time to be looking around and being all nosy and seeing what God is doing in somebody else's life. Amen. But God always wins. Your, your time is coming. Amen. Your time of favor, your time of blessing. Amen. It's coming, Jesus. Amen. Some people, you know, you're crying out to God and saying, God, my, my, my spouse is acting up. God, my children need to be delivered and saved. They're acting up. Amen. But guess what? God always wins. I don't care who the devil is using. Listen, you don't let that steal your peace. Peace. I'm telling you, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And the peace that he gives, I wouldn't trade that in for the world. I wouldn't trade that in for the world. Amen. See, you know, the enemy literally has trying to, he has done some things to you over the last week. It has literally brought you down to your knees. It has literally put tears in your eyes. It literally made you cry yourself to sleep. It literally made you stop eating. It literally suppressed your appetite. But I want to tell you guys that God always wins. God is saying, my children, as you trust me today, he says, as you abide in me, he says, I'm going to open up all things for you. Amen. Listen to me. God is releasing creativity right now. God is telling you, yes. When people said no A lot of people you got no People said no, 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 no To you, amen But God said he's going to give you yes, amen and, and guess what, the word of the Lord stands The word of the Lord shall stand That's what somebody needs to know Amen, let me tell you something If somebody tells you no, guess what God is saying yesterday Amen, somebody just give God praise I said God is saying yesterday Jesus My God See some of you, you're, 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 you're in a marriage right now. You're in a relationship. And, and you feel alone. You feel single. You're just roommates. I, I pray blessings over your marriage. I come against strife and division and a spirit of divorce right now in Jesus' name. And I command right now a divine turnaround in your marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. 
See, but God always wins. See, some people saying, God, how can you use me? I'm just a housewife. God, what do I got to offer unto the world? Let me tell you something. God has been speaking. I want to encourage you to step out and just, just do it. Amen. Just like Nike said, just do it. Do it. Amen. Write the book. Amen. You know, put your hand to the plow. And guess what? Don't look back. Because the word of God says, for those who have their hand on the plow, they look back. They ain't fit for his kingdom. Come on, somebody. Amen. Just do it. Because God will always win. But God is testing your faith. He's testing your faith and you listen to me. You know, the word God tells us to endure hardness as a good soldier. Amen. You you gotta have a mindset. You gotta have a you gotta be tenacious. You know, uh I'm trying to think of the word. You gotta have tenacity. Hey, like I, I have a made up mindset. I don't care what the enemy tries to do. I won't quit. I won't not I will not give up. Amen. Some of you, some of you got legal situations. My God. You know, I went to a season in my life. I was in court like every other day. I said, God, but I, like I told you guys before, the spirit of the Lord was working for me in that courtroom. Amen. And the, the, the attorneys didn't know. The attorneys were scratching his head. He was like, I just don't understand why this case is taking so long. My God, because I had a supernatural God working for me, y'all. Woo! In that courtroom. Amen. God always wins. No weapon formed against you guys will prosper. Amen. That's God. You know, the weapon may form, but it's not going to prosper because guess what? God always wins. And we trust God today. Amen. Somebody say, I trust God today. Amen. I trust God today. I know it hurts. Well, I know this thing done cut me to the core. People done lied on me. People done slandered me. Come on, somebody. Amen. People done rejected me. You know, so many things I went through, I just want to hide underneath a rock and never come out again. My God. But let me tell you something. God is moving for you right now. The word of the Lord, this is what he told me when I first started hearing his voice. He says, daughter, I'm moving even though it don't perceive that I'm moving. Amen. And that's what the Lord told me. He says, I'm moving even when it, you can't even perceive that. I'm moving. See, right now, you know, I just said today on my broadcast, you know, we serve 1159 God. What does that mean? Hey, that means, hey, your deadline is at midnight, but God will come through. Woo! One minute before that deadline is due. So don't quit. Don't give up. It may seem like nothing is happening. My God, God can do that thing in one day. What it, what it took you months to pray for. What it may took some of you guys years to pray for. God can do that thing in one day. That's God. Amen? See, some of you got legal problems, but let me tell you something. God always wins because the word of God says, hey, you know, he is your righteous judge. Amen. Jesus is your advocate. He is your mediator. He is your intercessor. Amen. He's at the right hand of the father making intercessions for you guys. Amen. You, you're, you're going to win. Come on. You got Christ praying for you. You got Christ interceding for you. You got the spirit man inside of you interceding for you. I need some of you guys to begin to war intensively, pray intensively in the spirit and watch what the hand of the Lord does in your life. My God, in your circumstances. Some of you like God is somehow I'm going to make it. God, I have a war. Somebody over here watching me have a bench war. My God. Listen, you know, some of you done, you done did some, some things, but now you got to face your consequences. But guess what? God, it will win. Amen. Okay. Let me tell you something. This real talk. When I went to jail, amen, it was a life changing point for me. It was a pivotal point in my life. Well, I'm, I'm like, okay, God, I'm going to yield to you. I'm going to stop being stupid. You know, I'm going to stop being immature. I'm going to grow up, God. I'm going to give you my life. Amen. And guess what? God won because the devil wanted to take me up out of here. Amen. But God says, no, nope, I'm going to put an anointing on her life. I'm going to do something great in her her life amen so guess what baby oh god won amen god won god is winning amen so i don't care who said you're not gonna make it i don't care who called you dumb amen let me tell you something the people that called you you know dumb god's gonna cause you to get an education amen god will bless you and take you places that you're not even qualified to go jesus some of you, some of you praying for loved ones like god deliver my family D don't quit Amen. I encourage you guys to, to uh, read the story about the prodigal son. Read the story about the prodigal son. My God. Amen. His father, you know, he had this rebellion son. He was rich. He spent all his money. He had rock bottom. But guess what? At the end of the day, he came back. The word of God says, hey, train up a child in the way they should go. When they're old, they will not depart from it. Amen. You know, let me tell you something. Jesus, you've been doing right. You've been, you actually planted seeds uh, of the gospel in your children. Guess what? And guess what? Just release them to the Lord and watch God bring those kids back. Because there's a lot of hurting moms on here praying to intercede for your kids. I'm not saying... Uh, 
don't stop praying. That's not what I'm saying. But you cannot be stressing yourself out, getting gray hair. Hair. Somebody on here, I see you on an inhaler. You know, having asthma, asthma attacks and stuff like that. Worrying about your kids. Come on, people of God. God always wins. Amen. We got to get in the word. We got to fight this thing in the spirit. Amen. We got to fight this battle in the spirit. Amen. Let's, let's talk about churches. Let's talk about ministries for, for a word right now. My God. See, some people right now, you're saying, God, I hate this church. You know, God, I don't feel like I'm growing at this church. God, I don't feel like I'm getting fed at this church, God. I'm not in the right location, Lord. They don't believe in the prophetic. They don't believe, Lord, in the supernatural, God. I just don't know. God, I swear, God is leading you right now. Amen. I'm going to prophesy to you. It's about seven or nine of you on here. Amen. Hallelujah. Within the next three months, God is literally going to uproot you and plant you in the house of the Lord. Plant you where you need to be. Amen. In Jesus' name. But to some of you, or it's about three of you on here, you're stubborn. Amen. You know you're not getting fed, but you're going there out of obligation because your grandma go there. Come on now. Because the man you like go there. Amen. But let me tell you something. You got to get fed for you. Amen. You got to do what's best for you. I don't think I want this word today. Amen. You got to get, you got to do what's best for you. You know, some people have an opposition, as sad as it is. This is the truth. Amen. You know, the enemy goes to church. The devil went to church. Amen. If you if you look at, 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 um, at Jesus, for example, he was so anointed when he went into the synagogue. You know, the, the place of fellowship, the place of worship. Demons will begin to manifest. So nobody can tell me that the devil don't go to church. My God. So the devil's working through some people, some religious type people. Amen. Some jealous leaders. You know, you're like, I, I don't understand why they don't like me. I don't understand why they, why they talking about me you know i can't flow in my gifts i can't you know do, do that and they, they're, they're people are lying on you gossiping uh, on you and just crazy things my god god always wins amen i need some people right now you know after this broadcast is i need you to get in a prostrate position and say okay god i need you to lead me because you said god in your word that the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord amen and i want to prophesy and tell you that god is ordering in your steps amen but God always wins. I don't care. Let me tell you something. You know, this is real talk. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be cutthroat. I'm going to be for, you know, with you guys. You know, I always um, give testimonies. So I remember one of the elders in the church didn't like me. Why didn't she like me? Because the drummer liked me. But at the time, I was so broken. I just went through a bad divorce. I wasn't even thinking, you know, about dating anybody. Amen. But guess what? God calls her, her attacks. I didn't even have to say a word. Amen. Exodus 14, 14 says, be still and the Lord will fight for you. I didn't have to say a word. You know, everything she said about me, you know, it just backfired in her face. And she ended up leaving the church. Amen. And she ended up getting afflicted in her body. Amen. Because the word of God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Amen. So what does that mean? You guys anointed. You have, you know, you got, you know, you are anointed. You got a call in your life. You're walking uprightly with God. God's going to take care of it. You are going to win. Amen. You are going to win. Amen. So people right now, you feel stagnant. You feel like you, you, you're not growing. You feel like you're dying spiritually. Listen, right now, I need you to lift hands in Jesus' name. And I send forth the fire of God upon you. I send a refreshing anointing upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not quit. Amen. See, the enemy wants you to die. Amen. You will not die in the desert land. You will not die in the valley place. You will not die in the wilderness uh, uh, land, prophet. Amen. You will not die. See, let, let me tell you something. I'm in that wilderness land. Amen. I am in that wilderness land. And the enemy tried to, you know, try to take me out a few times. My God. But let me tell you something. God always wins. Amen. I'm going to say this again. I said God always wins. See, you will not quit. You're going to make it. God is going to favor you. I know this thing is hard. I know sometimes the intensity of the trials has seemed like, my God, the fire don't lift up on this thing, God. I, I, I just don't know, God. But let me tell you something. God always wins. As you begin to trust God and say, God, I just let it go. I'm telling you, God is requiring you. Well, God is taking some of you. It is, it, it is a requirement to walk by blind faith. I'm going to say that again. Um, This is straight Holy Spirit talking. God said right now, it is a requirement for you to walk by blind faith what does blind faith entail uh, that means hey God you know just like he spoke to Abraham to leave that kindred to leave their family and to take him to a land that he did not know to fulfill the promises on this life come on that's Genesis 12 people of God I need you to follow me and God is calling you some of you to that place amen God is saying my daughter 
I'm sending you to a, my son. I'm sending you to a, a, a new church to do a great work for me. Some of you don't know. You know, some of you just feel like you don't have no support there. Some of you don't even have the resources. But God is saying, go. God is saying, lead. Let my spirit lead you and guide you. Amen. He, I, he said, I don't need you to try to figure this out. I don't need you to try to worry about this thing. Amen. This is blind faith. Amen. Some of you praying like, God, I want you to flow through me. Do the supernatural God through me. Amen, God. Lord, and how are you going to do this? Amen. Guess what? You got to be led by the spirit of the lord amen you gotta trust god even let me tell you even though it look crazy even though it look impossible just like for example moses you know the pharaoh and his chariots you know were chasing him and the children of israelites and he was at the red sea amen a sea amen you know it's impossible in the natural to to you know to swim through the sea you probably get tired and stuff but let me tell you something we serve a supernatural god and god parted that red sea baby come on now when moses looked up his staff god parted that red sea so you mean to tell me that god won't do that for you my god I'm going to say that again. Do you mean to tell me that God will not part your, your, your Red Sea, your impossibilities in your life, that God will make a way for you in the wilderness when his word tells us so? That he will make a way for us in the wilderness? Jesus. Man, I'm talking to some people. I need somebody right now to say God always wins. I don't care how horrible it looks. I don't care how bad it looks. I don't care how much backlash the enemy trying to make you feel. Some people don't get words. And did the enemy mess up your mind so bad that you start having doubt? You start having fear? You say, I don't want to prophesy no more. I don't want to speak in public no more. You know, people rejected me. People persecuted me. People mocked me. God, I just don't understand this. Amen. But listen to me. You know, you are blessed. Somebody needs to know that you are blessed because they persecuted. They mocked the prophets that were before you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Jesus. God is, he's going to win. Some of you are going to stand up. My God, maybe I'm prophesying to myself. Some of you are going to stand up in front of the masses. Some of you are going to fill stadiums, football field size stadiums. Some of you are going to travel to the nations. You're going to give your testimony. Some of you are going to go from the back to the forefront. Some of you are going to go from overlooked to being overbooked. Some of you, I'm telling you, some God's going to make your name great. You're going to be like, God, nobody knows me. I'm just from a small town. But God's going to have your name, a household name. God's going to use your name and put your name in people's mouths. And they're going to say, oh, I know. No, come on now Jesus I don't think I want this word amen zero to hero I love that from zero to hero Jesus see some of y'all see some a lot of people better get healed amen I hear fibroids you got fibroids I want you to just lay hands on that area now I curse fibroids at the root and I sent forth the fire God on you in Jesus name amen see Jesus my God hey, hallelujah I start to feel the healing anointing manifest listen to me see God always wins. I don't care if the doctor say you was terminal. I don't care if if, if if the enemy say you were sick in your body. When the word of God tells us we are healed by his stripes. Come on, people of God. The word of God tells us, come on now, that we are healed. That, you know, if we obey God, he will bless our bread and our water and take sickness away from the midst of thee. When the word of God says he is Jehovah Rapha. See, the enemy, he, he, he know he can't touch you, you know, so he try to mess with your finances. You know, sometimes the enemy try to attack you on your body, inflict you in your body like he did with, with, with Job. Amen. But guess at the end of the day, when you read the book of Job, guess what? God won, right? God won. You know, um, it was crazy how the enemy, you know, spoke through Job's wife and say, why don't you just curse God and die? You know, and how the enemy spoke through Job's his three friends, you know, and just all kind of crazy things. But guess what? Job was like, nope, the Lord bless it and the Lord take it away. I, I, I won't quit. Amen. What did Job and, and what did God do? What did God do in, in, in Job's life? In Job 42, I think verse 11, he gave him double fold. He had twice as much as he had in the end. His latter was greater than his former. Amen. Amen. His latter days were greater than his former days. He, he had so much more. Yeah, he went through hell and back. Yeah, he went through some things. He broke out in bulls and crazy things. But guess what? The devil knew he couldn't kill him. See, that's why the enemy trying to afflict some of you. But I break the curse of the enemy. I break it in Jesus' name. If you're sick, come on. As an act of faith, right now I need you just to lay hands wherever you afflicted at. Amen. We just renounce all negative curse words you may have spoke out of your mouth. We we renounce every negative curse word that the, the doctors may have spoke um, out of their mouths and anything you have spoken. And we come into agreement. We come into agreement that by Jesus' stripes you are healed in Jesus' name. 
Amen. And I bind up infirmity. The strong men of infirmity, I bind it up. And I send forth the fire of God upon you in Jesus' name. You're healed. Amen. Somebody say, I am healed. Somebody say, I am healed. Come on. I'm healed physically. I'm healed emotionally. I'm here spiritually. Some people, you, 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 you're going to cry all day. The enemy is attacking you and, and telling you you're never going to get married. You're never going to make it. You're never going to be a, 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 a mountain nothing. Let me tell you something. Do not come into agreement with that. Amen. God will bless you to be an overachiever. See, let me tell you something. I was in high school. I think my 12th grade high school teacher, she, she spoke over me. She spoke a death curse over me. I have to renounce that stuff. She said, you're never going to be nothing. Amen. This is a teacher telling me this. Crazy stuff. Amen. So I have to renounce that. And look at me now. I got one more class away from my master's degree. Amen. I need, I need you to wipe your eyes, young lady. Amen. Uh, Nini. Amen. Wipe your eyes. God has so much in store for you. Amen. So much in store for you. Let me tell you something. Oh my God, hallelujah. You know, it's almost like you're going to travel, and I heard president, you know, you're going to travel, you know, I don't know if you wanted to meet the president, but I heard stuff like that, I heard that, you know, you're going to travel, and you know, just, God's going to do some great things in your life, amen? It's almost like you're going to take a tour, you know, at the White House, and I'm saying some things, amen? So, be encouraged, Nene, amen? Be encouraged. Your marriage is restored in the name of Jesus, that's right. You, be encouraged. God's going to do a great work in your life. All right. So listen, you know, the enemy may try to um, attack you mentally, attack your mind mentally. Amen. I speak it over you in Jesus name. Your finances will be blessed. But God always wins. Let me tell you something. There, were, there was a time in my life where I was so dark and I was having suicidal thoughts. And the enemy was like, just drive your car in the lake. You know, just slice your wrists. Take those pills. You know, just speaking evil every day to me. He tormented me, y'all, for like five years. Say, I'm going to, he said, I'm, I'm going to kill you. You're going to die. Just crazy things. Amen. But guess, guess what? God won. Because guess what? I'm, I'm no longer serving the devil. I'm serving God. Amen. I give God crazy. Uh, you said, you said I sound crazy. I repeat that in Jesus' name. I give God crazy praise. Amen. I give God crazy praise. Amen. Woo! Jesus. I give God crazy praise. Amen. That's, hallelujah. I'll leave, I'll leave the trolls on here. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, see, God won. God won. See, I'm serving God now. Hallelujah. See, God transformed me. He transformed me into, he brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. Yeah, I'm telling you, God is alive and real. God can do something great in each, of, each and every one of your lives. Amen. See, see, the enemy to tell me things like you're fat, you're ugly, and crazy things like that. But guess what? I have to learn to see myself the way God sees me. Amen. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Somebody needs to know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made amen like i told these women when they sign up for the single conference god has a man of god for you god will give you a man amen i pray and i say god you know give me a man every day my every day my fiance tells me i'm beautiful amen even when my hair is all sticking up and looking all crazy amen so what the last man didn't do you know this man this new man is doing for me that's that's god amen so god's gonna make it up for you amen it's gonna make it up to you god's gonna give you so much uh you know above and beyond anything you can think of amen See, God always wins. See, don't give up. Don't give up. See, where the enemy's trying to cause doubt, fear, negativity, unbelief. Let me tell you something. I'll break that off for you in Jesus' name. Somebody put this up here. God is winning. Amen? God is winning. We're on the winning side. Just like... The prophet, you know, Elisha, amen, his servant went out there and he saw all these chariots and he's like, oh my God. But guess what? The prophet, he wasn't worried. You know, he said, guess what? Lord, open up his eyes. I pray to you, God, that he may see. And when he began to open up his eyes, he said, guess what? You know, there's more fighting for us than against us. Amen. So God is winning. We're on the winning side, boo. Amen. There's more fighting for us then against us amen like i always tell you the saints of god amen when lucifer fell from heaven uh, like lightning uh, guess what one third one third of the angels the dark angels fell with him so that means this two thirds of angels left amen so there's more fighting for us than against us my god so somebody i, I don't need nobody right now I, I don't need nobody ever to say again don't you ever say i feel like giving up i quit you know i, I pray right now for strength upon you amen I pray for strength to, to hit your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. See, the, the, the word of God tells us, my God, I'm going to preach this thing. Can I preach today? 
Can I preach today? My God, I don't think y'all want this word. Amen. If you have not already, swipe and share and, and heart me up. Come on now, people of God. Heart me up. Amen. I, I know God is moving up in here. I'm starting to sweat. Amen. Listen, 2 Corinthians 4 and 8 through 9. 2 Corinthians 4 and 8 through 9. It says, we may be troubled on every side. You may have all kind of crazy things around you, like like I just read off finances and house problems, relationship problems, sickness, whatever. You may be troubled on every side, but the word of God says, hey, you know, you are not distressed. You are not distressed. What does that mean? You are not defeated. You have victory. Somebody say, I got victory because God always wins. Amen. You have the victory. Jesus. Somebody say, I, I, I'm victorious. I'm going to walk out this thing victorious. Where, where the enemy said, I'm not going to make it. My God is making a way for me right now in Jesus' name. My God. So you, you may be the perplexed. Like, God just don't know how you're going to make it. See, the enemy wants to spin your head around and make you discombobulated and get your mind and stuff off of Christ Jesus. Amen? But the Word of God says, you are not in despair. You know, you know, some people say, I don't, I, I don't know, God, I'm going to make it. You know, I, may, I feel bewildered, bewildered, you know, and you feel like giving up. But guess what? You know, God will give you hope. See, some, some of y'all right now, you got, you're in terrible situations. You may be in debt and got all kind of crazy things. But some way, somehow, you got peace in the inside. Why do you got peace in the inside? Because, you know, God is moving. Amen. So, you know, I gave words before. I came on here before and said it could be worse, you know. And guess what? It could be very worse. But guess what? You have God with you. Amen. See, the other night, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be very transparent. My God. See, I felt some kind of way. I, I got in my emotions. You know, prophets have high highs and low lows. You know, I'm going to be honest. So I was having my low low moment. But guess what? The Holy Spirit is my comforter. And I found a friend up in Jesus. Come on, somebody. And when God, his anointing comes so strong on me, I was on fire all night. I woke up. I was on fire. What was God doing? God was showing me, daughter, you're not alone. Daughter, I will never forsake you. Daughter, I will never leave you. Daughter, my promises for your life will manifest. Daughter, I just want you to trust me. Daughter, I'm going to work everything out for you. Come on, somebody. Amen. So God is with you. And I always tell people, my God, as long as I have God, I know everything's going to be all right. I know everything's going to be all right. Amen. I don't know how I'm going to do this in the natural. But woo, God is giving you praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. When my car broke down, that's what I was doing. Instead of crying, I was giving God the glory. My God. When people walked out of my life, instead of breaking down and crying, I was giving God the glory. Hallelujah. You know, I began to cut up that worship music. And I began to lift up hands in the shower. Ha, oh, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus, my God. And let me tell you something. God worked that thing out, my God. God worked that thing out because God always wins. I don't care how the enemy tried to attack you. See, literally, when the enemy, you know, he intensifies the trials in your life, you need to intensify the praise. Someone, somebody put this up here. I'm going to intensify the praise. I'm going to intensify my worship. I'm going to intensify my fasting. I'm going to intensify, come on, get it in my word, somebody. Jesus. Woo, come on now. See, the word of God tells us, you know, you may be persecuted. Uh-oh. See, no matter, see, some people on here, no matter what you do, some people just probably not going to like you. What do, what do you mean, prophetess? You know, you probably can walk in the room, people like, oh, her again, roll their eyes. People don't like you just the way you look. Amen? People don't like you because they feel like you're arrogant or you're prideful. But at the end of the day, that's not how you are. You know, you're just probably a broken individual. You probably put a smile on your face, but you're hurting inside. Come on, I've been there. People probably don't like you because of what somebody else said about you. And they didn't give you a chance. So you may be persecuted, but you are not forsaken amen you may be persecuted maybe going through something but you are not forsaken what does that mean amen the enemy was using people around you to put your name and negatively in their mouth but guess what we know what the word of god says come on now just like God shut, he caused an angel and, 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 and the, the, the lion's den for Daniel to shut their mouths. God will do that for our enemies. Amen. He will do that for our enemies to shut the mouths of the lion. Amen. To shut the mouth of the deceiver. To shut the mouth of the slanderer. To shut the mouth of the tempter. Come on, somebody. Amen. So you are not forsaken. Amen. God is not going to leave you behind. God is not going to abandon you. God is going to fulfill those promises he has made over your, over your life. Amen. 
So you may be cast down. What does that mean? You may be cast down. You may be hurt. You may feel like you're knocked over. You may feel like you're at rock bottom. You may feel like going into your cave, somebody. My God, but God is, I'm telling you, going to pull you up out of that cave. Amen. So many times I felt like going in my cave. But guess what, God? Oh, my Jesus. God said, Kim, you need to come out. Kim, you got to do this. Amen. But you are not destroyed. See, the enemy wants to destroy you. The enemy wants to get you off track. Amen. The enemy wants to kill, to steal, and to destroy your life to attack your ministry to attack your character to attack come on now hallelujah everything you stand for in christ jesus but it will not work amen somebody say it will not work because god is winning my god i don't think i want this word amen you want me to keep going or you want me to stop amen i'm telling you i need you to put a demand on the anointing i love interaction i need you to put god always wins come on now hallelujah that's right come out come out the cave dark slim come up out the cave jesus my god hallelujah and I think I gave you a word before, but you know, when I looked at you, it's almost like I see, um, you know, like a, you know, like a DJ, like music, you know, I see like music all around you. Amen. I encourage you to, you know, to, to, to press up, press into worship, press into worship. Amen. All right. Listen, write the scripture down. Isaiah 40 and 29. I love this scripture. Isaiah 40 and 29. Some people say, my God, I, I feel weak. I'm tired. Lift hands. Come on now. Let's lift hands. Woo! God, we give you praise. Lord, you said in your word. God, you give power to the faint. You give strength to those who are tired. My God, God, I pray for strength right now to hit your people. In Jesus' name. Amen? God, you said that those who have no might, you increase their strength. Amen? Some of you feel like, my God. I, I'm just tired. I, I don't know how I'm going to make it. You know, I pray right now that your strength will increase. Amen. That you will not get battle fatigue. If you're battle fatigue, I pray a supernatural strength that hit you in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, Jesus. Do it, God, for your people. Amen. Great things. Great things. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of y'all getting ready to cross over. My God. I just heard that in the spirit. Some of y'all getting ready to cross over. You're getting ready to cross over to the promised land. You're getting ready to cross over to the other side. Amen. That is powerful. I don't knock them off flyer. Hold on, y'all. Let me put this up here. Sorry, y'all. Jesus. Some of y'all, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting all hyped. I'm, I'm, I'm knocked over. It's going to stay like that. All right, let me just move it. Amen. I'm getting all hyped. I'm knocking on my flyers off the wall and stuff like that. Amen. Receive joy. Receive it in Jesus' name. My God. Hallelujah. So, my God. So, listen to me, people of God, really, really quickly. Don't you know you are victorious? You are victorious. Amen. You know, listen. The Word of God tells us in Deuteronomy 20. Deuteronomy 20. When you go out to battle... And you, you against your enemies, you may see what the horses and chariots. Listen to me. When you go out to battle, you may see all the chaos the enemy is doing. But the word of God tells us to not be afraid. Amen. Do not be afraid. Because the Lord, amen, I'm preaching prophetically, he's brought us out of Egypt. He has brought us out of that wilderness place. Amen. That desert land. He is with us. Amen. Don't be afraid or don't be, don't tremble at your enemies. That's right. Do them his power. Do not tremble at your enemies in Jesus name. And I'm starting to feel a coolness. Amen. I start to feel winds up in here and God, I just reverence. Everybody right now, begin to reverence the, the presence of the Lord. Just lift up a hand and just, 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 just give God praise. Amen. I know it hurts. Amen. I know some people going through some things. I know some people felt like quitting, felt like giving up. But just begin to give God praise. Amen. God, I just thank you, Father God, for your presence. Amen. We just magnify the name of Jesus. We just lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. Just begin to magnify God. Begin to magnify Jesus up in this place. Amen. Let me tell you something. See, he is the miracle maker. Amen. He's the way maker. Amen. He is our redeemer. I'm talking to some people right now. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. My God. Hallelujah. Listen, somebody right now, you got a sore throat. It's on the right side. Amen. Let me tell you something. When you begin to lift up Jesus, I prophesy. I'm telling you, you want to put a demand on God. Amen. Because uh, he's letting you feel what the people feel right now. And a lot of people are getting ready to get healed. Somebody on here, you got right pain right here, like a sore throat. I, I break that off of you in Jesus' name. Somebody right now, you got like some kind of sinus respiratory infection all right here, like a chest cold. I'm breaking it off of you in the name of Jesus. My God, amen. Let me know if you just got healed. There's two people I done called out by the Spirit of the Holy Spirit. This by the Spirit of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Somebody right here, like 
pain is lifting. I don't feel it no more. And somebody right here, you have pressure. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Even right now, the, the Lord, I need you to lift hands right now because the Lord is, you know, anticipating. You know how you feel that anointing in your hand? It kind of hurts like the pressure. My God, the pressure, amen, just receive it, amen. See, some of you, receive your dose of strength. Receive your dose of extra faith. Receive your dose, amen, of joy. Receive it in Jesus' name, amen. You see scales and baggies. I, I command it to fall off the people of God's eyes in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I, I felt like the same maybe froze. I see somebody says, me, royalty, riches, what was you? Amen, let me know because it's, it's a delay on my end. It's a delay on my end, so I don't know. Which one would you put it up here? Amen. Because it's a lay on my end. I think I'm ahead of you. And I, I see it's a lag on here. Amen. But you're going to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. And I also heard um, somebody on here. You, you got in a motorcycle accident before. And you got some kind of pain. It's like lingering pain from the motorcycle accident. God is touching you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And put it up here. It's, it's a lag on my end. All right. So, people of God. Be encouraged. You felt it in your belly. Receive it, prophetess Demetria. Receive it, woman of God. Amen. See, God is God is shielding you. Amen. God is shielding you. Oh my God. God is shielding you. Not only is God shielding you from the attacks of the enemy, but God is shielding you, um, you know, with his faith. Amen. And, and, and his favor. You know, the word of God tells us that God's favor surrounds us like a shield. He says, no good thing will we lack if we walk uprightly before him. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray you be lifted up in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that the Lord will hold your hand and lift you up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So I decree and declare, come on now, that thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto God that God gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That God gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody needs to give God thanks. Give God thanks today. My God. And say, God, I thank you, Lord, for these storms. I know it's crazy to even say that. But God, I give you thanks. I'm going to get the victory, God. Lord, I, I'm going to have such an anointing on my life that when I stand in front of the multitudes, my God. Lord, then I'm like, no way. You never, you went, you haven't went through that. But God is giving you a testimony. Amen. I'm telling you, God is turning that test into a testimony somebody amen the word of god tells us that thanks be unto god who always leads us in triumphal triumph in christ amen he leads us triumphantly in christ amen that means you are victorious that means god is winning amen god is winning you're, you're going to make it i'm telling you god is not going to leave you at, at, at high and dry he's not going to leave you at a low place you may be rock bottom right now but guess what you need to say god give me wisdom up in this storm and we, uh, let me tell you something god has you in that place because He's trying to get your attention. Amen. The word of God says God is a jealous God. Amen. And some of you got idols in your life. And God, oh, Jesus, I feel fire on this word. My God. Some of you got idols up in, in your life. And God wants to, oh, my God, to put him first place. My God. My God. And God's trying to get your attention. My God. But listen, God has your attention. Some of you guys on here, I need you to cry. I'll say, God, I, God I, 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 I'll do what you want me to do, God. God, I'll say what you want me to say, God. God, wherever you lead, God, I'm going to follow you, God. God, I know this walking easy God but God I know I'm in an uncomfortable place oh God but God I'm going to trust you come on somebody amen say God I'm going to trust you God today gee I don't think I want this word today my God Jesus amen to you yep God got my attention to him like God I'm sorry I just said hey the other day I said God you got my attention okay what is it God Whoa, Jesus help me God come on now can we, can we be real today can we be real today I'm, I, I don't think I want oh my God Jesus I don't think y'all want to be real today. I think y'all like some, some fake preacher telling you good things that's going to tickle your ears. Amen. But I come to give you the unadulterated truth of the word of God today. Amen. Come on, people of God. Jesus. Woo. My God. So somebody just give God praise up in this place. Amen. I said, give God praise up in this place. Woo. Come on. Yes. Jesus. So. You know, some people, they trust in horses and chariots, but we trust in the name of the most high God. I said, we trust in the name of the most high God. God. See, some people are going to mock you for your faith. Some people are going to ridicule you. You know, crazy things. Listen, some God has spoken to a lot of you guys on here and told you to do something that you didn't even want to do. But because you stepped out and did it, watch God. Watch God bless you. Amen. Who received that? Amen. Who received that up in here today? Jesus. 
my God. Hallelujah. See, the enemy has no, I'm telling you, he has no chance. He's already defeated foe. We already know, let me tell you something. We already know the enemy's end. We already know that his future is doom and gloom. See, we already know that his time is short. That's why the enemy is trying to uh, increase the intensity and, uh, you know, make you feel some kind of way and make you quit. But you're not going to quit. Amen. Somebody say, I won't quit. I, I won't give up. You know, I know what God has for me is for me. Amen. No devil in hell is going to stop what God wants to do in my life. Amen. I need somebody to say, you know, no devil in hell is going to stop what God wants to do in my life. Amen. Hello from Virginia Beach. My God. Hallelujah. So, God, we thank you, Father God. Come on now. Somebody just give God thanks. Amen. That's why you won't quit. You won't give up. God has so much things in store for you. Amen. He has so much things in store for you, people of God. All right, hallelujah. So come on, somebody said we are more than a conqueror. We are more than a conqueror through Christ that loves us. Amen. Whoo, Jesus. See, some of you, like, I don't know if I'm going to graduate this semester. You will, you will make it. Amen. You will make it. Amen. God, uh, Lord, uh, will this ever happen in my life? Will this ever happen in my ministry? Will his dreams I'm seeing in the spirit, his visions, will it come to pass? Babe, it's going to come to pass. Amen. It's going to come to pass. That's right. God got you. God got you. Amen. Come on now. We can do all things to Christ that strengthens us. Amen. I'm telling you people, God. Amen. So you be encouraged. Somebody just give God praise. Give God praise. Amen. I want to end this thing out with praise. Amen. I want to end this thing out with praise because let me tell you something. When we praise God, all of heaven is going to move on our behalf. Amen. Who wants? Oh my God. I felt, I felt winds on that thing. I felt winds on that thing, my God. I said when we praise God, all of heaven is going to move on our behalf. Jesus. Begin to give God praise up in here. I know it's been hard. I know you felt like quitting. I know you probably cried yourself to sleep. Amen. Some of you didn't want to get up out the bed this morning because, my God, it's the intensity of the storm. But let me tell you something. As you begin to give God praise. I know you've heard this before. The enemy is confused. I, I want to prophesy, my God. See, the enemy expects you to fall apart. The enemy expects you, you know, just to be like, my God. You know, they're still present. God, you know, look what happened to them. Their husband don't walked away. You know, they done lost their job. But how can they still praise God? You know, you can, you know, you can still praise God because God always wins. I said God always wins. Amen. Uh, somebody put this up here. I'm about to get off of here. Say, God always wins. My God. And that is the word of the Lord that I got. That God always wins. Amen. It may be tough, but God was God is giving you the grace to get through it. It may be tough, I'm telling you, but God is going to give you the strength to go through it. It may be tough, but guess what? God says, you know, hallelujah, it may be impossible with man, but God says, through me, all things are possible. Amen. All things are possible through God. Amen. So it may say, God, Lord, I, 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 I got to pay $50,000 by this amount of time. Amen. Believe me, people of God. You know, I have seen some God do some things. Amen. So just, I need some people to just release it unto God and say, God, I release it unto you. Amen. I release it unto you. Amen. God, these are your bills, God. These are your children, God. God, you do this. I, I ain't going to get gray hairs over this, God. I'm not going to make my, myself sick in my body worrying about this, Lord. I, I'm going to release this thing to you, God. I'm going to trust you. Amen. I'm going to keep on doing, God, what you call me to do. I know it's not popular. I know it don't feel good. I'm so uncomfortable, God. But I'm going to do it. Amen. I'm going to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Just begin to give God praise. Woo! Begin to give God praise. Amen. So, God, pray favor on your people. God, I pray breakthrough on your people. God, I pray right now that you make a way, God, in the wilderness for your people. God, I pray right now that where they were, sh uh, where they were weak before you give them supernatural strength, God. God, I pray for favor on your people. God, I pray for open doors on your people. God, I pray that your people reach, Lord, all kind of possibilities in you, God. I pray that your people, God, reach the potential, God, in you, God. I pray that your people, God, would do great exploits, God, through you, God. I pray right now, God, that you pour such an anointing upon your people, God. Lord God, I thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Woo, that when people look at your people, Lord, they will say, that that's that's the Lord's kids. Amen. Lord, I thank you, Father God. I pray I had your protection around us, Lord God. I cancel every demonic attack. I wrote every demonic seed in Jesus' name. Come on, people of God. Hallelujah, Lord. I pray a hedge of fire around it, and I prophesy that the enemy cannot cross that hedge of 
protection around us in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray for our children. I pray for our homes, our ministry, our business, our jobs. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, I be encouraged. Amen. I pray for joy. Remember the joy of the Lord is your strength. I'm going to say it again. Remember the joy of the Lord is your strength when you felt like, ah, I can't make it. Amen. God is going to give you strength today. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you're blessed by this, amen, I want to challenge you to sow in the anointing. So go to my website, KimberlyHargrace.com, and sow your faith seed today. I need sponsors for our cruise. We're going to the Glory Gathering Cruise. Amen. Um, we're, we're doing some great things. Um, also, you guys, for the Singles Conference, uh, help. I'm single. I need help preparing for Boaz. That was an awesome conference. We are going to put it on YouTube. So check a little bit later today. Amen. And it's going to be on YouTube so you can catch the replay play amen so you can catch the replay you can buy that amen uh, it's, it's gonna be awesome so so god is good and i love you guys send me your um testimony i know a lot of testimonies are gonna come forth i began testimonies one of the testimonies i got today the woman of god had pain in her like uterus uh maybe it was fibroids or something like that and she said i want you to pray for me because i don't want to go on vacation with this pain in my body so i prayed for her and the pain left amen and she went um she went on her vacation pain-free. So that's God. Amen. That is God. So I just give God praise for the testimonies that are coming forth. Amen. So you be encouraged. Remember, God always wins. God bless.